great series. I mean, it was the first uh, we hadn't beaten Australia for for quite a while, and their their normal services had resumed at the first test at Lords. They still had their all powerful lineup, with likes of McGrath and and you know and w w Gilchrist and Warren and Hayden and and Langer. You know, great great team, wonderful team. Then they did their traditional thing. They won the first test at Lords um, to go one and up in the series, but it was it was a Keenly fought contest, and, and I know Michael Vaughan, the England captain, that, that, that for that series, you know, he'd really got, he, he'd asked for a bunch of guys who who weren't scarred from by previous Ashes campaign. It was most of the guys playing that series, people like Colin, people like um, like Peterson and Bell and all in like Freddie and Harmison, guys who hadn't played any Ashes before, so they were quite quite sort of unscarred by it all. So they, they had, a, they had a, some belief going into that, but having gone 1-0 down, and then at Lords, which the, the Aussies traditionally beat us at Lords, we've only, we've only ever won, what, two, three test matches after last, this last one here at Lords. And then at Edgbaston, that ne the, the next test match a few days later, that fateful morning when Glenn McGrath somehow trod on the ball, which is still unexplained, I think, and punting, won the toss and sent England in. Still on it's playing that one as well. Um, and, but it was a great test match. I remember that Edgerton is my home ground up in Birmingham. I remember being there for four, the first for four days and it was a great, thrilling, thrilling test all the way through. It sort of ebbed and flowed and that sort of stuff. And then we, um, that last Sunday morning, the last day, uh, where I, Australia still needed 70 odd runs with um, three wickets in hand. I thought, well, nah, we'll beat them easy. We'll, we'll beat them by about 60 runs. And it was a tremendous couple of hours play where they got to within three runs of the target. And it, got, it took a bit of a, I mean, it would be an interesting one if DRS, decision review system, was in place. How, um, I think it was Kaspervich uh, won a ball from Harmison that he, he gloved it down the leg side, but he's actually one of his hands. The ball at the hands hit, had the ball flicked, was off the glove. So that would have been an interesting one if the, if the third umpire was in place that morning, but he wasn't and he got given out and there was a queue celebrations for England to square that series. And then, it, and then here we are at the Oval where the guys um, seal, that, seal that series for, for a wonderful series victory. And then I think we've been beating them ever since, I think. Well, I, I, rem I remember being in a, after that Sunday afternoon in, in, um, in Birmingham, being going, it was a beautiful day, a beautiful, hot, sunny Sunday day. And I remember going to my lo the local supermarket to go, uh, I thought, oh, let's have a barbecue, and invite some mates over. And I was in, a, in the queue at the checkout. And there were these two, these two wonderful ladies in front of me, and they were talking about the cricket. So I thought, wow, I mean, that's, that's, that's something, being, a, being in a, a shopping queue in a supermarket to have these two, these two ladies talking about cricket. So yes, that did, that, then, that did change sort of minds and, and attitudes, and the players certainly start believing that, hey, we can beat these guys, and, and obviously it's, it's been shown ever since. Well, it, it, was, it was certainly, I mean, cricket's like, thankfully is the summer sport, and it always seems to be, whenever England are doing, whenever when we're doing well, and the team's doing well, the sun's shining, um, the, you know, it's, 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 it, and there's no other sport around. Well, unlike last summer when there was the Olympics and lots of things going on, you know, it's it's, it's hard. But this year, it's, it's, it's England winning, the Ashes, Australian, they always seem to bring out that flavour, not just with the players, but with the public as well. So that's so that's very important for the players to, to harness that that feeling. And, and, and putting performances that, that show, highlight the, 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 the game in, good, in a good way. <laughs> Absolutely, listen, I mean, sometimes, sometimes, I listen, obviously these guys are very professional, they, they work hard, they do all the right things. Sometimes it's, I would like them to sort of realize that it's still a game, and it's a game that's played by, not just in the by themselves, by by thousands of people recreationally who turn up and they're for their clubs or schools and just or in the parks and just play for fun. And it is a fun game. Sometimes that gets a bit lost in the in the professional ways of, of how the game is played these days. And it, and, it, and listen, these guys work really hard at it. So yes, that, that 2005 the celebrations of now they were 
they were lorded through the streets of London and all that sort of stuff. And the boys were on the on the bus. And yeah, they were, they, I think they had a, one or two of them had a one or two glasses, probably more than. But hey, why not? Lovely, great to see because it, it is a fun game. So get out there and enjoy it.